So David Byrne, the uh, lead singer of Talking Heads, wrote a, a book recently about the, uh, the music industry, and he's got a chapter in which he talks about the eight, uh, eight reasons why CBGBs, he thinks, is so important to the uh, punk uh, scene in the 70s and 80s. And one of the things that I do is I'm the co-founder and president of Data Community DC. We run meetup groups in uh, DC and Maryland. Uh, and this really spoke to me, and I think that, that a data community is in some ways very much like a, a new music scene, um, in part because of the way that the lines are being uh, redrawn right now in terms of, of uh uh, the way that we are, we're sort of creating new professions, career paths are really different now from where they were 10 years ago. There are new academic programs, and the ways that you make associations and so forth are very different. So eight reasons. Number one, there must be a venue that is appropriate size and location in which to present new material, clearly true for bands, also true for us, I think. So if you compare sort of you know 50 years ago when computer science was getting created, you were perhaps uh, joining the ACM. Now you're joining a meetup group, you're uh, presenting things you're passionate about on blogs. It's maybe not fancy, but it, it uh, uh, is really valuable for, for uh, people in the community. Um, number two, uh, artists should be allowed to play their own material. Uh, so when the Talking Heads were getting started, uh, CBS was one of just a few venues where they were able to play before an audience before getting a record deal. Um, and I think in the data community, we also have this culture where, uh, because of the sort of many different approaches and different points of view that people have, uh, we have more of an organic process, a more sort of bottom-up uh, collegial uh, experience of trying to figure out uh, what the community is and, and what people are doing. Number three, performing musicians must get in free on their off nights and maybe get free beer too. So uh, participating in your professional community is really valuable. So at, you know, at meetups, the speakers don't get paid. Certainly the uh, organizers don't get paid either. Um, but there's a lot of payoff in terms of reputation. And I think, particularly now in the internet age, uh, developing your professional rec reputation and having a, a, a sort of public uh, a persona is really important. Number four, there must be a sense of alienation from the prevailing music scene. I think, uh, uh, you know, certainly uh, a lot of the musicians at CBs were not really big fans. It was on the radio in the 70s. And I think that, that alienation is important for us as well. And I think terms like data science and big data data come in, uh, from the fact that people were not really satisfied with terms like statistics and machine learning and operations research is what they were actually uh, doing in their, in their careers. Um, Number five, uh, rent must be low and it must stay low. So when the Talking Heads were starting, they actually rented a loft on, on the Bowery for $150 a month with no running water. Uh, and I think it's important for in a data community for the barrier uh, to entry to be low as well. And I think it is. So meetups tend to be free. You can participate in Kaggle competitions for free. Stack Exchange uh, is, is valued in our community. Um, but I think when there's more and more sort of certification and degrees over, over time, that we should view these as sort of step ups and not uh, the tickets in. Number six, uh, bands must be paid fairly. So the bands at CB sort of, you know, they got the, the revenue from the door and that allowed that scene to, to thrive. Um, for us, we need to recognize that there's value in, in events, in meetup events and such. Uh, educational, sort of peer support, sure, but also that, you know, a, a community is in many ways a marketplace and that there are sort of mercenary values that should be uh, embraced. And, you know, if somebody comes to a, one of my meetup events, uh, talks to a sponsor, gets a job, that's fantastic. Number seven, social transparency must be encouraged. Um, so CBGB sort of famously didn't have doors on the dressing rooms. The lighting was pretty terrible. Um, and it was really about the music and not about some sort of like glamorous scene. Uh, and I think that we would like to have a culture where the sort of success and hard work um, is, is visible without a lot of hype and smoke and, and mirrors. I'm not sure about the big data. That might just be hype. Um, but uh, anyway, uh, number eight, it must be possible to ignore the band when necessary for maybe several reasons. Uh, but one of them is that uh, at CBGB's, the, a lot of the sort of scene creation happened in between sets and afterwards. And you go to a meetup and maybe the value happens uh, beforehand when you're eating pizza or after at data drinks. Uh, and you know, I think it's important to, to uh, build a community where the scene is more important than the main event and that people want to come to events even if the speaker is not really sort of directly relevant to them. So what can you do? You should go to uh, uh, data events in your community, wherever that is. Uh, you should buy speakers a, a beer, and you should help make a really great data scene. Thanks.